Day six. Um, I don't know how I got here. I kind of say that jokingly and I kind of don't because honestly, when I said this whole 21 day thing, it really was just kind of in passing that, oh, that'd be something to try. But once it released from my mouth verbally, something attached to it and it, be it just came alive is the best way I know how to put it where I knew that I had to do it. I knew that if I didn't, I'd truly regret it. And I knew it'd be the thing that would move me forward. Cause I've been asking God over and over, what do I need to do? I feel stuck. I don't like where I am. I don't like being this complacent. What's next? So he showed me this. And here we are on day six. And I can't believe that I'm here, but at the same time, I can't picture myself anywhere else. This, to be honest, is not my first day six video. Um, I had something else completely planned. It was recorded, it was edited, it was ready for upload. But then I was in my car and something about it did not feel right. It was not the right word for today because it hit me as I was driving that today marks a week since this seed for this challenge was first planted. And I feel like I truly need to honor that, that I need to mark it because I'm always gonna look back on that day and know that that's when things changed, that I was never gonna be the same after that. It is a monumental day and I felt God just calling me to read what I wrote in my journal that day when I walked into church and what sparked it all. Cause I can talk about it, but I wanna truly get to the root of why I'm doing it and my heart behind it. So I wrote, and this was to God, fill up every space Leave no room for fear, darkness, guilt, shame, obsessions. May there be no hate because all I see is your light. May there be no anger because all I feel is your peace. May it never be me I'm staring at. Leave no room for me. May I never lose sight of you in me, that you chose me, that this body is your temple. I am so tired of looking at myself. How different I would talk to myself and treat myself if I lived allowing God, you, to consume this body with your presence. How different I would see myself if I stopped trying to shrink my body to push you out. How different I would think if I chose spirit over ego. I want this body and mine to only be known for one thing, for being yours. I cannot live forever fighting to claim what was never mine. You made me, adorned with a beauty beyond my comprehension. This body was not mine to paint over and to be destroyed. It was designed to reflect you what am I representing you as in the way that I live? You never once asked me to look a certain way. It was not be transformed by the renewing of your body. It was be transformed by the renewing of your mind. You only asked for my mind to change, but it is the last thing I touch. Ignoring what you ask is only closing my ears to hear you. I feel like you're here, but I keep missing you because I'm too caught up in myself. I feel so far away yet so close to what intends to remove me from you. You and me is never far, but I'm fighting it. So I just wanna share that because that is what sparked this all. That I was so tired of seeing me I was so tired of abusing this body when it was never mine. I don't want the focus to be on me anymore. 
I don't want it to be me I see in the mirror. I want to look up on that 22nd day and see Christ in me. That is all I've ever wanted. But yet it's a thing that I've feared the most. And maybe because I don't feel deserving of it. I don't know. But I don't want to keep pushing it away. I want to fully feel him in me. To live in spirit. To not be consumed by flesh. And that has me scared and it has me excited at the same time. I constantly live as if I'm at the top of the roller coaster with this. And I know that I'm either going to go down and I'm going to crash, or I'm going to have the best ride of my life. And I'm doing this, truly believing that this is going to be the best ride. And I'm going to get off this ride completely changed. I joke that I'm not going to get out of this alive. But I have a feeling I'm going to end this more alive than I've ever been. And that's something to fight for. And that's something to push through. So. I am learning to love every second of these days. And I'm learning to love who God is transforming me into. And I cannot wait on that last day to realize that my life is not the same anymore. That I've been forever changed. And that, because I love the butterfly, that I have my wings.